Okay, Coop is coming. This is from Pennsylvania, built by the Amish, and he's got several other people's stuff on there. He's trying to find a way to get back to our property. I think ours is on the end there, the sort of wood-stained uh, coop. And it's a Quaker style, and yeah, he's trying to just find a way back here. So we got the coop delivered. Here's our tractor supply coop that's falling apart. It's our two tinkerlies. So just to kind of contrast there. It's a lot, a lot nicer. We're gonna put a run here in this bit here, eight by eight from tractor supply to gin pen. <laughs> you know, you know. All right. So here is uh it's a quaker style with the stain a green roof and the egg box we put toward our house and we put some sand down because we read that that was the best for the chickens to have um so it's got the human door over here and the chicken door we paid for the automatic one so when the run's there at night they can once the sun goes down they'll run in there run sand what i said it's bank run sand <laughs> We got the cupola on top. So my husband wanted that. <laughs> That's pretty. Um, all right, so let's go inside. Oh, before we do, we have, it comes with two windows. We had an extra window put in on this side, the chicken door side. So a little extra ventilation, and then here's the little doohickey. All the um, hardware and stuff looks really nice. It smells good. It's Amish. It's the head box, uh, egg box that I can't lift up. <laughs> it's heavy. And then you can probably take some of these out because chickens don't, you, you know, how they like to share all the same box. All right, can you help me shut that? And it's a nice epoxy, epoxy floor, too. It's very, it makes it a lot easier to clean. It's nice the thing doesn't slam down. So we did get the special flooring on the inside for cleaning purposes. Um, here's the key. It's got nice hardware. Apparently it's locked. <laughs> um, you want to walk in there, Victoria? Don't touch anything yet, though. Alright, so here's the inside. So we chose to do the pull-out trays. So here are the roosting bars. There are three of them, which is nice. And then the... Um, stool falls into the uh, tray there and then I'll show you on the outside in a little bit. I got extra paint with it and um, I think this is a company called Hen House, the Amish builders. We did get insulation. We chose to do the insulation in the roof. Uh, we're in Michigan so we get uh, extreme temperatures either way. <laughs> Here are the two windows that come with it with the hard cloth there to keep. I don't see any animals um, getting in this thing. <laughs> so, and we've got predators. There's a vent there. Looks good. So we also opted when when you purchase one of these you get to choose different things or not have stuff. You can get it really basic. We did the coupe auto door which you'll need electricity for to run to the house uh, that um, will go up and down so the chickens can come in at night. Um, that's what that looks like. A little menu on there. That's the extra window we had put in. So normally there's just the wall there. So they cut that out, <coughs> cut that out, and put that there with the hard cloth and screen, so you can open those. Um, it's nice. You can really customize it to how you want. What? I said. Also, one thing that that's oh. really good for chickens is diggers and bank run sand. Because mm -hmm. it has lots of little stones in it that you can use for the grit. Mm -hmm. And so it's really good for them. I'm going to step outside and get this end. So.
So this is from this side. So it's very roomy. I'm about 5'7", close to 5'7", and I have no problem at all standing up in here. It's very comfortable to walk around in. Um, very much so a walk-in <laughs> coop. You see some coops that say walk-in, but you have to kind of be very sized to get in there. But um, it was very, very comfortable and roomy. This is an 8x6 model, and I don't know. I think it's really nice. So let's go on the outside and I'll show you the vents and the slide out drawer. So this is the vent that was on the inside. So you turn these things and pull that down and then you can leave that open when it's like in the hot summer or whatever. And then if you're having a storm or snow blizzard or whatever, you can close that up. This is the nice, nice wood stain. Um, I forget the name of the style that you can get. Uh, it's a paper style. I don't know the name of the wood. Lots of choices when you go to order. They have lots of lots of choices. Let me zoom out. And then this is the pull-out tray. So if you can move that and then you pull the handle. Yeah. So once you open this up, it's got these two trays that run the length of the coop. And then you simply pull that out and clean all the wonderful chicken things that you find. And <laughs> So you get two of those. You, that's an added um, thing, but I think um, it makes cleaning life a little easier. Oh I'll yeah, pull that up. Yeah, it definitely does. As, as well as the epoxy floor. It's just you can just go in and there. Boom. So it's in like the spirit seconds. of aging parents <laughs> and children, we we chose some add-ons that were cleaning friendly. We're going to again put the 8x8 coop here so we have the sand here. Back up a little, I got stung by a wasp. There's unfortunately a wasp nest in that tree. So here is the back of the coop. So it's pretty sharp looking. I think they do a really good job. Um, you can see the style of my daughter's head there and uh, the cupola turns. It's very nice. I like it. It's roomy. Sometimes it's hard to tell how big these things are when you're looking at it in the catalog. Um, but we're pretty happy with it. So, um, looks good. Alright guys, thanks for joining me today. If you want to go ahead and subscribe, uh, normally this is an art channel, but <laughs> this is a part of our life, so we I wanted to include it. I thought this would help. I know when we were searching for coops, there was some good information out there and a lot of not good information, so hopefully seeing this will help you if you're trying to make a decision. Um, the tractor supply one that is pretty popular um, came to us used, but not very used, and it's I don't think it's going to make it through this winter. So we went ahead and had to get another one. It's, it's just kind of falling apart and whooping and I don't know. It's, 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 it's just not doing its thing. So, and again, we're Michigan, so some states it might be fine. But in Michigan with the changing temperatures, this, this coop just isn't doing the trick. So uh, anyway, we went with that one. All right, thanks guys for joining me today. Have a great day.